This video is a continuation of my attempts to fix my Campbell Hausfeld air compressor here. If you want to know more, I'll put a link up here in the corner to the last video. The short version is it'll run now, but it will only build 40 PSI. Initially, I was not going to dig any deeper into this because my thinking was if it was a bad reed valve or if the head gasket was blown out, it would build little or no pressure, not the 40 PSI it's building now. But you all made some persuasive arguments why it could be one of those problems. So we'll take a closer look and see what we can find. We have about 30 PSI in the tank right now and I just removed the exhaust tube and there's nothing coming out here so that shows one thing, the check valve in the tank looks like it's good. Now that I have the exhaust tube off, I'm going to fire it up and see if I can feel any obvious leaks here around the head gasket or if I can detect any clear problems with the intake valve or the pressure valve. So here's what I was feeling for. I was reaching around to see if there were any obvious air leaks on the head gasket. I did not feel any. I was feeling the intake to see if it had good suction, and it did. If I felt air pushing out of the intake, that would show a bad intake reed valve. Over here on the pressure side, I was feeling if there was good pressure coming out. If there wasn't, if you could easily stop it with your finger, that would probably indicate a bad pressure valve. But both of those look pretty good. Good. There was plenty of pressure coming out of here, it felt like. I couldn't stop it with my thumb, and there was plenty of suction here on the intake side. That again makes me think this piston is just worn out. I just reinstalled the exhaust tube here to do one more test before I tear into this, and I was checking the intake again. My thinking was maybe if there was back pressure here from the tube being in place, that would be enough to overcome a weak intake reed and blow air back out the intake. But it wasn't the case. When I fired it up, there's still plenty of suction here on the intake. Let's start tearing into this thing. I have not even looked at the reed valves yet because this is clearly the problem. Check out the compression ring here on this piston. It's all beat up. There are big chunks of it broken off here. Uh, it's pretty clear this is why the compressor cannot build enough pressure. There is a torque screw holding this piston in place. Here's a close-up look at the piston. I expected to see wear on the compression ring because it is 13 years old, but we have this big section where chunks of the ring have either broken free or just been worn away. You can probably guess what we're gonna find here, but we will just take a quick look at the cylinder. Not surprisingly, there's a lot of wear and scoring here inside the cylinder. It feels really rough. Well, we know the reed valves were not the problem, but we can still take a look at them. As we expected to see, they're old and a little bit dirty, but nothing's broken, they're intact, and they look fine. So I'm basically right back where I was at the end of the last video. Should I fix this or should I replace it? At the minimum, I'd be looking at $65 plus shipping for a piston and cylinder kit. And that's assuming I can reuse my original head gaskets. I just feel like that may not be worth it, because who knows how long the motor in this will last, especially because it will be working harder once the compression is back to normal. I'm going to keep thinking about it, and I'll let you guys know what I decide to do. Hit the like button, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.